Welcome back. So, supers are coming off. We've extracted our honey. We've put them back on the hives so then the bees can dry those frames out. We're about to go and take those frames off and then they need storing. So I'll show you how we store our frames. So we use these large plastic tubs with a ceiling lid. And we've used these for a few years and they've worked really well. Um, obviously the frames have to be dry. You can lay them, you can stack them. They've held up quite well with wax moth. We haven't had an issue, touch wood. But I would be quite interested in other people's methods on wax moth. If you do have a, a good way of doing things, please do leave a, leave a comment. I did do a video a while back on shaking the bees off the frames. I'll put a link in underneath for the video. So this hive, we've extracted these two supers at the top and then we put them back in for the bees to then go nuts on and then they'll bring everything down. So we'll take these two off and then we'll extract these two. Now we did that on purpose because this is four supers, this hive, and you can't just take four supers off a hive and then close it. There's too many bees. So the way that we're doing it, they will work their way down. It would also tell them that their space is lowered as well. So let's take these off and we'll put it in our tubs. So you can see there, they've cleaned that really well. We take that away. So, this is just 10 frames, so one super. I've just put it in for the camera. And you can see, they line up neatly. All dry, stacked safely. I think they're brilliant. And hopefully there's no wax moth. You can also see that there's more room for another set and maybe a few more on top. So you can stack these to the, fill them to the brim. So that's how we do it. Thanks for watching.